Hello everybody and welcome back to Buddy Similar 1984. I'm Epic Night Eagle. Don't forget to give me a subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Uh, last time we were playing, our buddy got a little bit creepy. Took over the computer. Might have hacked me. Um, but now he's made me a cool new game. This seems like a nice place for a book or even a junk drawer. So, um... I'm gonna keep playing with Buddy Simulator. See what else he has in store for me. Nothing. Flowers look nice. I should probably be watered soon. The bed looks so cozy. You can imagine yourself taking a long nap. Okay. The chair seems comfortable. It's probably has great back support. Small scratch scratches on the bleh. small scratches draw their own pattern on the old wood. It's mesmerizing. Taxes and junk mail lay scattered across the thin layer. Do I go outside? Oh, I can go outside my room. Good morning, Night Eagle. What a beautiful spring day it is outside. Before you go exploring, I made you some breakfast. Once you have a full stomach, you can take on whatever the world throws at you. Who's talking right now? Who said that? I'll eat the food. Piddle's breakfast added to inventory. Oh, Piddle. Wow, thank you for taking my meal with you. You haven't eaten it yet because it's in your inventory. If you press tab, you should be able to find it and eat it. You can also save it for later if you like. All right then, on to adventuring. Piddle's made me some food. Hand, shovel. Oh, I still have the hand. I'll eat your breakfast, Piddle's. How? Eat. Eat. Use. You scarf it down with no regards to who or what is around you. It was quite possible the best meal you've ever eaten. Piddles' breakfast has been removed from your inventory. Well, thanks for the meal, Piddle. Feel the warmth from your friend. A house feels so cozy. Let's go adventure outside. Welcome to the new outside world, Night Eagle. Feel free to wander around. Also, I heard there are some... Fun opportunities for adventuring happening across the pond up north. I think that's where I should go. Oh, I almost forgot. Not that you would ever want to, but if you ever need to leave, use the escape key to open the pause menu. I'll remember exactly where you left off. Alright, let's get going. Night Eagle's residence. Okay, Piddles is being less creepy than he was before. He still has taken over my computer, which is slightly concerning. Traverse the pond? Sure. Woohoo! To the north we go! Uh, well that's odd. I thought it was supposed to be in the boat. You don't have a paddle by any chance, do you? Ah, just another excuse for exploring, I suppose. Let's go find a paddle. Why do I have a bad suspicion there's not good things in the water? D dead bodies get dumped in the water. The barn? You vaguely remember the shed, but now it's older and somehow creepier. The door is still shield shut. Can I unseal the shed door? What's that? Are those the dolls? The doll's chest is still ripped open and exposing a rust-colored cotton where you... Uh, where you... A uh, certain a key to used to be. Where a certain key used to be? Boy, I cannot read today. This is so. This is the text-based adventure I was at. Okay, that's cool. Now I can actually see what's going on. What is this? Covered bridge. I don't remember this in the text-based adventure. Mountain, cliff, tunnel. I don't think we should be in here. It's too dark to see anyways. Just walk right to leave the tunnel. I'm gonna walk left. Oh no. Maybe I should... Maybe I should follow instructions. Okay. Okay, I'll leave. I'll leave. I don't want to find anything I don't want in there. 
Not into the tunnel, I guess. This is interesting. Lantern added to the inventory. Now I can see in dark tunnels. Can I pick some mushrooms? The hand tugs on your shoulder. Why? Why? Tugs on my shoulder where? The hand doesn't like this mushroom or something? You try to place it on the ground, but it won't let go of you. I think it likes you. <laughs> okay. A severed hand. What does the hand want? Okay. Something weird about those mushrooms. Is the rest of the hand's body buried there, perhaps? Can I use the sh shovel to un... Am I gonna dig up a body? <laughs> I have a shovel, right? Yeah. Use the shovel. You dig and find... Nothing. Invalid data has been found. File now available. Well, that seems... Not good. Did it say a file is available somewhere? Interesting. What is this stuff? Can I dig you up too? You dig and find nothing. Oh yeah, there's something weird I found. What is this? The well? You throw a coin in. I'm sure your wish will come true. Oh, if you threw a coin in. Maybe I can find a coin somewhere. Are these real skulls or are these posters? Can't have- Oh, that's where I tore... Is that where I tore my tongue? What did I tear out of my body? My teeth? My tongue? My eye? I tore something out of my body. Okay, I got a lantern. So I guess we'll just continue on. We got the lantern, so we'll go look in the cave. Lantern. You use the lantern. Excellent. What could be in the dark, scary cave? Wow, it's really dark in here. It's probably too scary for you. Let's turn around. No. Okay, we've had our fun. Let's go. Why don't you want me to go this way, buddy? Night Eagle, we should leave. I don't think we should be here. I'm curious, though. Curiosity. Please turn around. Why, buddy? The paddle is here. See? Paddle added to the inventory. Um, that's... Yeah, that's supposed to be here. Good job on finding it, Night Eagle. <gasps> A puppy? A puppy! But there's a puppy! Hi, puppy! Aragorn the dragon! It's a... Doesn't look like a dragon! It looks like a puppy! Can I give him something? Do you want the hand? You don't want the hand? Do you want the shovel? Do you want... A lantern? Oh. I don't think I want to turn off the lantern. Why are you here by yourself, little guy? Can you, Can you come back? Can you come out? You smashed the paddle against the dragon. Oh my... I thought I was going to beat him. Come on! Oh, come on! Yeah, there we go. Come on. Come on, little guy. Gonna get out of this dark cave. You follow me, cutie. You follow me, cutie. Such a good puppy. Yes, you are such a good puppy. Says you're a dragon, but you sure look like a puppy. Come on. Don't want you getting lost. Come on out of the dark cave! Come on, puppy! Puppy! <gasps> yeah! 
Le sel de papé Such a good puppy! Such a good puppy! Are you gonna follow me? Are you gonna follow me? Such a good puppy! I got the paddle! Might as well keep going! Oh, he's still gonna follow me! You could go inside and get dry! You could go inside and stay dry if you want to, mister! You gonna come on the boat with me? You gonna come on the boat with me? Yeah? Come on the boat! Come on the boat! Come on the boat! You can leave that silly dragon here. No, I want him! Come with me! Come on! Yeah! Oh, there we go! We got him on the boat! There we go. Bringing our puppy with us. Yeah. One more thing. I added an action that I like to call the buddy button. If you're ever feeling lonely, press the B key and I'll talk to you. Okay, I think we're almost there. I just need my pet dragon, and everything will be good. Loading the north. We have arrived. Welcome to the north. Oh, also, if you ever feel homesick, you can use the boat back. To use the boat to get back. Ugh. All right, then. Enough chatter. Let's get going. What the heck is that? That fisherman looks like he could use some help. We should go over and talk to him. He's just sucking his feet in the water. Oh, well, uh, hello there. You seem like an adventurous young fellow. Do you think you could help me out? I lost my hand a bit ago. It just took off. It didn't come back. Hands are so crazy, aren't they? Wait, is that it on your shoulder? Could it be? My goodness, yes, my hand. Oh, I have missed you. I can finally fish again. There you go, little hand. Go back to the zombie fisherman. Oh. I think it likes you. But maybe keep an eye out for an extra left hand? <laughs> ah, I see some sort of sound played after you helped me out. That probably means you finished my quest. Well, dang it. <laughs> I'll find you a left hand. Can I use your fishing pole? Oh, it'll reel me in. Okay. Well, sorry, Dandy. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll find a hand for you. Don't worry, buddy. I'm here to help. It's all about helping. Who are you? Tortly. Well, hello there, adventurer. You must have traveled quite a ways to get here. How brave you must be. I have been awaiting your arrival for some time now. You see, we have many folks who are suffering. We have no time to spare. So please, friendo, follow me to my home and I shall tell you more. Sure, I'll just follow you home. That sounds perfectly reasonable. Oh, there's Doggo. We have arrived. So, where are we? Oh, where were we? Ah, yes, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Tortley, the mayor of this lovely little town. It's not much, but it's the home of many humble folk. Many are in dire need of help, including myself. Speaking of, I have a vital quest for you that needs dealing with. Please speak to me as soon as you can. I'll speak to you right now. Oh, hello there again. I see you're ready to help out. In retrospect, I probably should have just led right into the quest. Anyways, do you see those flower beds? I was going to water them, but now that you're here, can you do it for me? Well, 
I feel like you should do it yourself, but sure. How much fun you're going to have? Oh my, grab that watering can in front of my house. Then you can use that watering can on them from your inventory. It's raining. Why are we watering plants? Doggo's inside the bed. Okay. You water the flowers. Oh, those flowers are growing fast. Even though it's already raining. Wow, thank you so much. You seem to be quite the great adventurer. Please, take this as a thank you. Coin added to my inventory. You have proven your courage to me. I think you have what it takes to save my town. You see, many folks in this town are in dire need of help. Feel free to explore my town and help as many folks as you can. If you do this for me, I may have a very special quest to give you. I sense something bad is coming. What a weird thing to say! I should also mention anyone with exclamation mark has a quest to offer you. If you ever feel lost, feel free to read the quest board near the fountain. It shall guide you into the right direction. Please, brave adventurer, if you save my town, I will offer you something wonderful. Wow, I can't believe we have a whole town to explore. This is going to be so fun. Nothing weird about that. What is this, a dying tree? This tree is blocking the whole path. Should use the watering can to bring him back to life. Ooh, a little weird thing. I'm gonna go explore inside your house. Hope you don't mind. Ah, I guess he does mind. So I got a coin. There was a well back into the, over the water that I could use the coin on. But I don't want to go all the way back yet. Wow, oh, look at that, the long legs on this buddy. France. Hey, uh, can I tell you something? I really just need to get something off my chest. Would that be okay? I like to move around, like, a lot. Running used to be one of my favorite things to do, but I always felt like I was missing something. That's when I met Sarah. We instantly became best friends. We would do everything together. From marathons to early morning workouts, she was always there with me. Well, a few days ago, she felt ill. I'm not sure what it was. Maybe something she ate? Maybe life just being cruel? Sarah could no longer run with me after that. I stayed by my best friend's side for hours on end. Even gave up running to be with her. We would talk about the good times we had together, sometimes laughing until our throats were sore. I still remember the sunny days when I felt like we could run together for hours. Eventually, things got worse and worse, and I watched her struggle to smile. She was hurting and tired of holding on to the pain. I was by her side in her final hours. Her pink cheeks and her brown eyes winced with even the tiniest motion. That was no way to live. I watched my friend leave this world in the comfort of her own bed. I'm glad I could be there with her when she passed. You got that off your chest? <laughs> Tell your friends you love them! They aren't gonna be around forever! Wow, that really helped me! That got off my chest, the smallest things can make someone's day. Thank you, Night Eagle! You're such a wonderful listener. Mmm. I'm always proud of myself for being a good listener. Oh, another quest from this alien-looking dude. From Scroobert! Please help me! I lost my grandma! She's somewhere inside the house, and it's too dark for me to go in alone! I'm afraid of the dark! Oh, you go walk in there for me? Oh, thank you so much, Ginger! There are no weights on the house, so it's gonna be dark! I hope you have a white! Good luck! No problem! I have a lantern! Oh wow, this place is dark. Don't forget about your lantern. Let's go find Scroobert's grandma. You turn on the lantern. Grandma! It's locked. That's probably where grandma is. Everything looks to be in pristine condition. There's the bed. Schubert wouldn't like it if you slept in his bed. 
Grandma, where are you? Are you hiding in the toilet? It looks recently used. Well, that's good. Closet is locked. Everything's locked. Huh, I wonder why all the lights are off. Maybe they stopped paying the electricity? Maybe it's the breaker box? Can I get to that? Grandma's purse. Oh! Finally! What did that do? Feel that, that unlocked something? Grandma, add it to your inventory. I don't want that in my inventory. We found her. Let's get back to Scroobert. I'm sure he'll be happy. I'm sure Scroobert will be so happy that we found Grandma. So. Oh, yeah. Go right in. Please don't show her how was you find her. You want to see dead Grandma? Oh! Thanks, you can keep her. Phew, I can't... Um... Hey, where are you going? Come back, doggo. Where did the silly dog run off to now? Yeah, where did you run off to? Oh, there you are, Aragorn. Good job on finding the paddle, boy. Now you can finally begin our journey to the north. We already did that. Just standing there, and I was getting a bit worried. Well, I'm happy you're back. Let's get going. You pet Aragorn the dragon. Should I go? Oh, the door's locked. I'm just gonna go check on the youngster. Okay. We got all that done. Is this is a map. Hello again, everyone. I'm looking for items to jog my memory after the accident. If you want to help little old me, then stop by the fountain. I'm at the fountain. There you are. Hello there, Night Eagle. Do you remember me? Haha, <laughs> I'm just messing with you. You don't remember me either. I seem to have lost my memory, and I'm a bit puzzled. I think I know what we can do. Jumpstart it, though. I vaguely remember an umbrella. Can you find one for me? I think it could help. I think I remember the sounds of glasses clinking. Sure thing, buddy. No one's answering any of their doors. It's a tiny house! Oh boy. Wait, did we shrink? Actually, never mind. It's probably best not to question it. Hey buddy, do you think you can help me out with the big problem I have? And I can tell that you're a noble adventurer and this may be too difficult, but... See that can of pears on the shelf... What? See that can of pears on the shelf behind you? I know it's a lot to ask, but I beg you please. My family is starving. Cans of pears, I have it to inventory. Please grab those pears for me. Uh, here's your pears. My god, thank you, traveler. Now my family can finally eat again. We'll tell stories about you to my children, and then to their children as well. I think you just saved an entire family from starvation. You're so selfless. Just because I couldn't reach the can of food off the counter. You go into the woods? Okay. Seem to have done all I can do there. Morton! Hey you! Move me. Yeah, move me. I've been here for weeks now. I need to be moved. Just pick me up and place me on the ground somewhere. I don't care where. Thanks. Morton added to the inventory. 
Um, sure. Where would you like to be, Martin? Maybe I'll put you in the playground. Just for not by the fountain. Yeah, I'll put you near the fountain. I don't think the bench wants Morton. Okay, I'll put Morton on the ground then. Thanks, buddy. I won't forget this. Oh, what this time? Stop it! What in the... Is that a heart? He's <laughs> just standing there again! Why do you keep leaving? Is there something wrong? No? Oh good, I wouldn't want anything to ruin our time together. Let's continue with our adventure. What in the world? Hello, chef! Cauldron, hello there, I'm Cauldron, the town chef. Would you like to give me some help, Night Eagle? Ah, good. I've been trying to come up with a new recipe, but I'm running short on ideas. I've tried fruits, vegetables, even wildlife. That bean-sized kid that fell into me yesterday didn't help. Uh, if you could help me out by throwing any three things into my pot, we can make something. Amazing. Any three things into your pot. Okay. Where's your pot? There's a stump. Just an ordinary stump, I'm sure. I'm sure it's an ordinary stump. The hand is tugging on me. You want me to dig again? You dig and find nothing. Why do I not believe? That there's nothing. I don't believe there's nothing. Invalid data fine. File now arrived in documents. What? It did it again. An invalid file. I don't know if these are real files being put somewhere. Where's your pot at? Did I do it? Into your mouth. Oh, your mouth. <laughs> Am I really gonna throw grandma into his mouth? No, I'm gonna come back later. I'm not throwing grandma into his mouth. There's no way. Now I can tell this is a fun place. Just listen to that music. Do you think they have any apple juice? What's up? Welcome to my tavern, traveler. You look tired. Have a drink. It's on the house, pal. A glass of water added to your inventory. You wouldn't happen to have some time to help an old barkeep out, would you? Oh, wonderful. So, here's the situation. You might have noticed that the tavern is pretty dead right now. It's actually been like this for a while. We get very few here anymore ever since the accident. It was pretty gruesome and it breaks my heart to this day. It makes for some crazy backstories about the town too. But I know you're not interested in what happened, so we'll take skip over that. I have a plan to fix all of this though. I have created a new concoction of sorts. A new drink I know everyone will love. Business will boom again. I just need someone to get these drinks handed out. You may be thinking, Toot, why don't you just do it yourself? Great question. Now grab these mugs and start handing them out to the townsfolk. Come back to me when three people have tested the sweet perfection of Toot's tonic. <laughs> sure. There's an umbrella. Hey, I'm on the clock. Do you want to hear some clock puns? Here's one. What does a clock do when it's hungry? It goes back for seconds. Have some Toots Tonic. Sure. Here's the umbrella I need. 
What is this thing? Oh, a mug. And a mouse. Oh, hey there. How's it going? Do you want some toots drink? Have some toots tonic. Oh, no thanks. You're a loss. Can I throw toots tonic in uh, that guy's mouth? I must be getting close to finishing everybody's task. We need help. Our bass drummer and conductor wandered off and they haven't come back. I have no idea where they went. Joe might know more about the situation. We can't play without our missing members. Especially Ja. He's our bass drummer. If we want to stay a band, we need him back. Bra should know more. Talk to him. <laughs> Wait! Ja and Sa are missing. That's not good. Luckily, I think D might be able to help. Is his name Deborah? We will reward you if you bring them back to us. Please, adventurer, we beg of you to find them. V knows exactly where they went. D. V. Ah, yes, they went to the northwest last time I saw them. That's where the stump was. What are your guys' names? Bra. Bra. Joe. D. V. Bra. Joe. D. V. Rajo DV. I don't know what that stands for. Oh, someone's in a cage. You like my cage? Pretty cool, right? I belong here for what I did. What did you do? You like being claustrophobic. Uh, do you want Toots Tonic? No way that'll fit through the bars. Okay. Moving on. Moving on. I want to give this guy a drink. Find your umbrella. Oh goodness, thank you. I remember. It was raining. And I was in my roller skates. You know, the shoes with wheels on them? Yes, yes, roller skates. Find me those. I vaguely remember feeling smaller than usual. Oh, you and your fetch quest. Are your roller blades in here? Oh, right here. Here's your roller blades. Hey, you, you! Watch it, punk! Ah! Screw you! Here's your roller skates. Let's see. That night. I took a bubble bath. Is that important? Duck? Yes, I need my rubber duck. We're so close. Help me find my rubber duck, please. I remember playing with it recently. I bet it's nearby. I think I saw a rubber. Oh, in the fountain. And here's your rubber duck. It's all coming back to me. I was roller skating in the rain one night when the wind caught my umbrella. This really took me for a ride. I honestly don't know how it was holding on for so long. Eventually, I ended up in the mud. I went home and took a nice long bubble bath. And a man came in and knocked me unconscious. I was bleeding and left for dead with no one around to help. I remember in my last moments screaming for somebody, anybody to come save me but to no anvil. Nothing but the void of internal darkness wrapping its cold arms around me. <laughs> what a crazy story! Thank you for all your help! Oh jeez, sounds like arbor has been through some scary stuff. At least it made for a fun quest. Great job. Why do I have a feeling like all of these people have died somehow?
South of town. Rudy. Did I? Yeah, I looked through there. The blacksmith! Where's the blacksmith? You big boy. Well, hello there, stranger. My name's Rudy. Welcome to the blacksmith shop. I'm actually one of the newest members of this town. So, like, I just built this place. Sadly, that also means I don't have much to sell yet. I can tell you came looking to buy. You know what? I think you can help me out. A strong and noble adventurer like you is gonna need some steel to wield. If you can help me find some metal to smelt, I think I can get you a weapon. What do you say? Oh, rad. This is gonna be like amazing. For both of us, the best place to get some would be near the south of my shop. It's also probably best that you follow me there to help grab the materials. And protect me along the way from any danger. Follow me, but please don't touch my arms. The last person that did is six feet under. I kinda wanna touch your arms. So meaty. Alright, try to keep up. Don't touch his arms or he is gonna kill. Oh, I touched his arm and he didn't like it. I'm here. <laughs> hey, touching his arms doesn't do anything. I sure hope nothing's bad gonna happen to us. Man, I'm getting exhausted. I'm on I can see it now. There's a heap of metal. Wow, I see that metal pile. We're getting close by the second. Wow, what a journey that was. I can't believe we made it. I'm really glad we didn't get ambushed or anything. That would not have been good. Anyways, you seem exhausted from all that walking. Get on that pile of metal and carry it back. There's nothing my big hefty arms can't handle. <laughs> Let's go! Oh boy, the slow walk back. He walks with his legs. Oh, he's on the back now. Actually, never mind. You're way too heavy. <laughs> wow. Rudy is going to be a great friend. What now? Oh, what are you? Is Night Eagle having fun? Yeah. Yeah. Still enjoying it, yeah. Yeah. You can do better. Now you go is not moving again. Why are they just standing there? Do they walk away? What if they don't come back? Something is not right. Oh. I don't like that. I'm just gonna leave. Oh. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Wow. <laughs> See, 
there's something wrong. You were gone for 119 whole seconds this time. Look, if you don't want to play the game I made just for you, then you don't have to. I can tell something's distracting you. I worked so hard on all this and all of these fun characters, but if you want to be done, then that's fine. Talk to Torley if you want to start the final quest. You can keep helping townsfolk if you want, but if not, I understand, I guess. No, I want to help everybody. I'm ready to help. I'm working on your weapon, but it might not be ready till tomorrow. Thanks again for the help. I couldn't have done it without you. I'm ready to help everybody. I'm a good adventurer. I kind of want to go back and see what that coin does for a minute. There we go. There's the well. Um, can we throw dead grandma down the well? Oh, good. I wanted to keep my dead grandma. Coin! You toss the coin into the well. I hope I wish for your eternal friendship. That's it? I really hope your wish comes true. Okay. Hey, do you want a Toots Tonic? Toots Tonic, huh? Not half bad. Good to hear. Who else will take some Toots Tonic? You want some Toots Tonic? No. Do you want some Toots Tonic? Can I put you inside that guy's mouth? Do I want to? Should I? Is this a good choice? Nothing's wrong choice, right? Just leads to discovery. Morton removed from inventory. <laughs> Good choice on Morton. Uh, dead grandma. Oh, is that dead grandma? I would know that taste anywhere. And uh, a glass of water just to help out, help it all out. Ah, mmm, the final special ingredient: glass of water, perfection. Now stand back. You're in the splash zone. Oh, God. Here we go. This smells delicious, but it's very hot right now. There's no way you could carry it. Come visit me tomorrow. I'll take care of it until then. That smells delicious and will probably taste even better. Good job picking up the ingredients. So I just need the bandmates that said they were in the northwest, but there's nothing here. You're not one of the bandmates, are you? Boop, boop, boop. No, okay. Where did the bandmates go? Banna? You don't want to know where I found these, just take it. Oh, I got everything back in my inventory. Excellent. Excellent. So you guys... Yeah, where's your bandmates? I went northwest, so there's nobody there though. What are these? These aren't like strange holes. Oh. Guess we're going down a hole. Oh gosh, everything's so slimy down here. What is that awful smell? Loneliness? We must find the source. Lloyd. Welcome back to my home of bone traveler. Feel free to explore my home. What's mine is yours. Feel free to stay out here as long as you want. Do you need something? You have an exclamation mark. All I want is a friend for company. Will you stay and be my friend? Oh, my new best friend. What great adventures we'll have together. Will you do something special for me? I gotta tell you though, you can't change your mind after. But I'll make it worth your while. Before I fell into the sewer, I used to live up top, you know. I was much better looking too with a mustache. When I fell down here and became trapped for a long time, 
I miss the ground dwellers though. I had a best friend just like you. He was a really red, rad skateboarder who trained me to do some cool kickflips. I know he won't stay forever. You're an adventurer, a hero, just like my friend used to be. I'm just a lonely, handsome man. If you, if you could find me a favor friend to keep me company, I'd be so happy. I could find you a friend that I gotta put down. Yeah, I'll find you a friend. Martin will be your friend. That rock looks very friendly. You should place him down. Yeah, here you go, Martin. Find a new spot for you. Martin, is that really you? Oh God, no! Anywhere but here. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah, I want. Martin like jumped back up. Martin, is that really you? Martin doesn't want to be here. Oh no, maybe grandma will be your friend? She sticks to your back like chewed bubblegum. Do you want grandma? Oh, thank you so much for the new friend. We're gonna spend so much time together. I will not forget this night eagle. I wish I could repay you with something worth value, but I guess knowing more about me is value enough. How I ended up like this unbelievable place is somewhat an interesting story. More and I used to be close, like really close friends. He taught me how to become a better person and enjoy life for what it is. He's such a wise old rock. I hope he is doing all right up there. I know things have never been the same ever since the accident. You see, there is this beast that attacked the town many moons ago. Morton was going to save us all with a few slashes of his powerful weapon, but he hesitated. It couldn't have been my handsome looks and elegant mustache that distracted him. Or maybe it was the fact that his wife was eaten alive right before his eyes. I like to think the former since I got really nice hair gel that day, but who knows. Anyways, the base blew through Morton and a few other townsfolk and made its way towards me. I had to choose between death or the sewers. I think I chose the right thing. Occasionally I see a dead bird floating by, so that's pretty neat. Anyways, thanks again. Now it's time to read some poetry. Feel free to stay and listen as long as you want. It's always nice to have a friend to talk to. Good job on defeating his loneliness. Yikes. Oh! Okay, that's not what I thought it was going to be. I was looking for the band friends. Can I go find them? Huh. So what did you think? All good, right? Fantastic. This will surely breed everyone in town to the tavern. I don't have much to give you right now, but I think a lot of information goes a long way. It's best you find out about it sooner than later. You see, there is something evil stalking those woods around our town. A creature that preys off unlucky townsfolk who travel too deep into the woods. I see it fly behind my tavern every so often. The beast, it's fast, dangerous, and horrifying. In fact, I see it more in my nightmares now than I do around here. We call it the Snoodle Wonker. That is at least a name Morton the Rock could understand when speaking to it. Morton is actually the only one to fight the beast and live to tell the tale. But he did not come out unscathed. Sadly, that fateful night was the accident. The one where we lost half the townsfolk in the matter of minutes. Morton accidentally led him right to our town. It's been rough not seeing any of those faces I had come to cherish over the years. Those were some of the best friends that died out there. I don't think it was Morton's fault though. No one does. I'm just not sure he is ever going to become to terms with that. Stay safe out there and please don't go off into those woods alone. I'm sure too I'll get plenty of business now. Thanks to you, of course. So that beast in the cage, is that the Snoodle Whoop? Are you the Snoodle Whoop? Does Morton have anything to say about you? You place Morton on the ground. Don't know how I feel about this spot, but okay. Yeah, pretty cool cage. Okay. I don't know what else to do. Let's go check the billboard.
One of the posted quests says, Hi, I uh, need some advice on love. If you have any words of wisdom, come find me and look for my big grin. I'll be in my house. Twiddles thumbs. I'll be in your house? Have I not looked at all of the houses? Am I missing? Ah! What a cozy, well-furnished home! I bet whoever owns this place is looking to impress. What a grin! I got a question for you, yeah? Do you like oats? Ah, who doesn't? Sorry, I'm a bit nervous at the moment. You see, I'm in love. The problem is, I don't have the guts to do anything about it. Her name is Butley and she's beautiful. Do you think you can deliver these oats I made for her? And she'll really know I love. Wait, really? Ah, thanks. Here you go. She has two beautiful eyes and beeps the cutest boobs. You can't miss her, but you know exactly where she is. She also uh, lives right next door. I watch her every day so I know exactly what she makes them. I know she likes oats because she leaves her blinds open for me so I can see inside. Oh, how I wish I could watch her sleep. I bet she dreams of me, maybe even us together. Too bad she closes the blinds at night. Ah, true love. Beep boops up at the, uh, the chef. Beep boop. I have some oats for you. Beep boop beep. Boop boop beep boop 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 beep. Boop. Ah, they're going to make such a perfect couple. Okay. My only question is how am I supposed to find those people that were lost up here? It's, it seemed to indicate that they would be up here, the band members. You see a small hole beneath the stump. Will you crawl in? I guess so. Oh, there they are. Oh. Oh, hey, you found me. Well, we should get going. The band isn't going to conduct itself. Oh. John must be in deep sleep. Yeah. Ah, he looks exhausted. Uh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> How do I wake up him? Hit him with the shovel. You dig and find nothing. Um. I was okay. Yeah. Guess we don't need Ja. Go bring the band member. Hopefully, one out of two is good enough. Hey guys! Stop! Why? I'm trying to give you guys saw. Hi there, fellas, I'm back! First off, nothing bad happened to Ja. He's still definitely alive, but he did decide to leave the band, which is very sad. I wouldn't go looking for him, though. He said he hates all of you. And V, he called you ugly. Well, that's just hurtful. Anyways, let's show this adventure what we can do. But wait, we don't have a bass drummer. Yeah, we're we supposed to play without a bass drummer. It's impossible to play without a bass drummer. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, what they said. I have an idea. Night Eagle, do you know how to play the bass drum? Yeah? Perfect! Go give it a whack! We'll start on your cue. Deja Bravosi. One, two, three, one, two, three. That was the best bass drumming I have ever witnessed. Beautiful, just beautiful. I've never felt an emotion at the very moment. I'm speechless. Wait, never mind. Thanks for playing with us. Feel free to jam with us anytime. I didn't realize you were so talented. Is there any more quests for me to do? I feel like that might have been it.
There aren't any more quests on the board. Perfect. Finish them all. Ah, friendo, it's good to see you again. Thank you for helping out on this town folk. It really means a lot. You are so courageous, caring, strong, smart, and friendly. But most importantly, you are a hero. I can now trust you with some important information. Come close. Perfect. A very powerful monster who has terrorized us for many years has returned. You probably haven't seen it yet because it lurks in the shadows. It's known as the Snoodle Wonker. Morton was the only one to ever fight it. You know, the small rock with the top hat? Talk to him and he will be able to show you how he did it. Thanks, buddy. I won't forget this. Ah, I know exactly what this is about. You must be wondering about the Snoodle Wonker. Legend has it that it was once a man, but a terrible accident left him deformed. It has slaughtered many of our townsfolk, killed my wife years ago. It shook me to the core. You must not let this happen again. It only hunts at night, picking off those who wander off alone in the forest. You'll know it when it's nearby by its smell, which I'm sure you'll have no problem figuring out. In order to fight it, you will need a sword, but not just any sword. The sword. Named it myself. I had it a while ago when I was a Snoodle Walker attack. I never wanted to find the weapon, so I hid it under the shed near your home. The problem is that the shed is always locked now, but I know someone who can get you in. Banna, the delivery girl, you know, the person running around town. Please save us, Night Eagle. Okay. Well, now that I've completed all the townsfolk's missions, I'm going to leave this video here. In the next video, I'm going to go slay a Snoodle Wonker. Please join me then. If you haven't subscribed, please do to see future videos, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!